everybody this is laura coming to you today from the last days ministries i hope you guys are doing well now today you know uh, when you pray and um, the prayer of the righteous man availeth much and there have been many precious brothers and sisters praying that the lord will expose the false teaching and um, the heresies of Rene roland well guys our prayer has been now uh, answered and you may He's going, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm going to show you something that is going to blow your mind. And when I saw it this morning, it's actually still 10.37 a.m. here. I saw it at about 9 a.m. And I just was like, oh my goodness, this is so bad. This has gone beyond bad. And if people still continue to listen to Rene Rowland, there, I, I, you know... I I just I just don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. But this is really important that I share this with you. I just felt straight off. I have to make a video about this. This is really important. So anyway, um, you know the usual story that we have with her. She has this um video that she mirrored, um, by Andrew Womack, and it says here it says ask Andrew Womack. What does woman usurping authority over a man mean? Now, this is quite like asking the Pope to explain the Bible because he hasn't got a clue. Right, so let's just come down here. Um, Andrew Womack is not regenerate of the Holy Ghost because he is an heretic also. So here Renny Rowland says this, Many people take the verse out of context to imply God cannot use women, but the Bible proves differently from Deborah to the Old Test, to, to the Old Testament to Phoebe and Priscilla in the New. Okay, so at this moment in time, I'm not going to play, okay? But what I want to do is I want to bring you over to a video, right? That was, um, that was made by, um, this gentleman here, Kevin M. Oliver, and he's from um, Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, he made this excellent video a few years ago, and it's very, very good. He's a, he's a dear brother in the Lord, and like me, he exposes false teachers and false doctrine. Now, unfortunately, I can't seem to find his channel because the video that you're about to see has been mirrored many times. And um, I thought he would have some information in his about about his YouTube channel, but I can't remember. But I do remember that this gentleman was the one that put this information together. So I just want to give him all the kudos to say that this is what he put together, and uh, he did the research, etc. So it's not me; it's this gentleman in question. All right. So anyway, so let's just um, I'm going to bring you over here. Now, this is the video that Kevin made um, a good few years ago, and it has been um, basically mirrored by this guy called Doug Gaffney in 2009. Okay, so this is an older video. Granted, it's an older video, but it's still strong, strong today, and I'm going to show you why, okay? Now, let me just play this. I may be com com commenting along with Kevin as we go. Um, but let's just play this now. Other than to Satan, they are the ones that empowered Satan. In a sense, man made Satan. God created Lucifer, but man made Satan. Psalms, you know, I used this example last week that in a sense, Satan used mankind like a hostage and said, God, if you get me, you know, you're going to have to destroy them also. They willingly submitted unto me. But now God himself became one of the hostages. And now God had the authority to deal with Satan. And I mean, Jesus destroyed, defeated Satan on every level. Satan made the huge mistake of crucifying Jesus and took him to hell. And when Jesus went down into the lower parts of the earth, I mean, he came out of hell. He destroyed Satan, not only here in this physical earth, but he went down into the lowest parts of the earth. He defeated Satan and he came out with the keys of death and of hell dangling on his side.
Jesus begged Jesus to let them enter into a pig. Why? Because a pig has more authority than the devil because it has a physical body. A slug, a worm, amen, fungus has more power than that, or uh, uh, let me rephrase that, more authority than the devil because it has a physical uh, form. Well, where are you going to find that in scripture? You're not. That is absolute utter garbage. I mean, most Christians would look at that and go, now hold on a minute. Like, uh, you know, like a, a slug would have more uh, more authority over God, over, over Satan. Uh, what? This is just crazy. I mean, the, Jesus talks about Satan being the prince of the power of the earth. Right, and he has, he's, de he's deceiving the whole world, right? But of course the Holy Spirit now is coming and bringing in the truth. That's utter garbage. Let's continue. The, and Brother Kevin will explain it a bit better. It's really very appropriate to call Jesus the Word because God spoke him into existence through dozens or possibly a hundred different people over a... Okay. God spoke Jesus into existence. Scripture verse can't find it. What he's doing here is he is denying the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus has always been God. Father has always been God. And Holy Spirit has always been God. The, the Trinity doctrine is the Godhead of our Lord Jesus, of of. of it's God, let's just say, right, so it's fully God, fully man, Jesus was fully God and fully man, and he was not breathed into existence by, or spoken into existence by God. You won't find that in scripture. Let's continue, brothers and sisters. 4,000 year period of time, the Holy Spirit took these words and impregnated Mary. With the amount of error and the number of untruths in his teaching, Andrew Womack has the audacity to have a program on Christian television uh, called The Gospel Truth. Now, Andrew Womack is on local television in 35 states in the Union. He's on every Christian network, God TV, Inspiration Network, Daystar Church Channel. He's on Sky Angel. He's on every continent in the world on television and on radio. His reach into the homes of people is incredible. And most people criticize uh, false teachers. You know, the favorites uh, are T.D. Jakes, Criffo Dollar, Joel Osteen, uh, Kenneth Copeland, whatnot. But Andrew Womack is under the radar. He's under the radar of most people. And if you watch him, You'll see that he's very folksy, very genteel. He's got that southern drawl. He's on TV, very plain spoken. He's got his blue button down collar shirt, uh, looking very preppy, just preppy. And he just looks so convincing. But I consider Andrew Womack, or Womack, the most dangerous man on Christian television. And. The reason is because of the reach that he has and the reach he has with what he teaches. Now, I turned on television a couple of days ago. I was watching Andrew Womack. And um, within two minutes, I noted at least 20 factual errors that he stated before I just stopped taking note. He provides no scriptural reference for what he states, and the scriptural references that he does provide, they are very often out of context. But for the most part, he just riffs. He just says stuff. In the short clips that I play for you, he, he, he says that man made Satan. He says that pigs, fungus, snails have more authority than the devil because they, they have a physical body. He uh, he said that Satan uh, uh, crucified Jesus, but that Satan took Jesus to hell. Now, that's just for starters. That's just the stuff I'm showing you all. And by the way, there's a link to his website where you can see these sermons for yourself in, it, in their entirety. 
uh, in the more info section to the right of the video. Now, there are studies that show that Christian media uh, is the single greatest a manner in which uh, persons are introduced to Christianity through Christian media. Not through church, but through Christian media. Television, radio, internet. So one of the criticisms against me is, why do you focus so much on TV preachers? Well, because of the stranglehold that they have on, on the media, on Christian media, and because of their ability to influence uh, the Christian population. Their ability to influence thinking. So then, the correct transmission of the doctrines of the faith is something that is of great importance. Now, it's one thing to be wrong and to be wacky, but it's another thing to be heretical. And heretical is what Andrew Womack is in his teachings. When you teach something that is in direct opposition to the basic doctrines of the faith, meaning the nature of God, uh, the nature and deity of Christ, the virgin birth, uh, etc., then you are in a dangerous position, uh, particularly as a preacher or a teacher. And the Bible admonishes us to warn that person and then after a, a, a sufficient number of warnings that that person is to be avoided because that person is condemned. I'd like you to listen to these clips of Womack, and then I'm going to come back and comment. He spoke everything into existence. And when he had absolute authority and power, he hadn't delegated it yet to his creation, he just spoke Adam and Eve into existence, and they came into being. No. No, that's not true. Let's just, what I'm going to do here for a second is I want to bring you over to Genesis. And I want to show you what Jesus was talking about. Now, granted, in Genesis 1, it talks about how God spoke and that things were created. I get that. But this is a different type of teaching completely, where they believe that the Holy Spirit is almost like a, a force. It's like an electricity force where you hold words in the force, and when you speak those words, they come to pass. Now, did Jesus speak Adam and Eve into existence? Let's have a little look at this. So, let's come down. Okay. So, let's read, okay, from um, verse 4. And we're in Genesis 2, and um, this is the King James Version, yep. Yeah. There are the generations of the heavens and the earth. They were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. But the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. Now listen to this. But there was up a, but, but there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. Now this is where we come to it. And the Lord God what formed man out of the dust of the ground. Yes, he formed man. He didn't speak him into existence. He formed the man out of the dust of the ground. And what did he do? And he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So here we see, did Jesus speak Adam into existence? No. He took the dirt and he formed him, and he spoke, and, and he, he, breathed, he breathed into his nostril, nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Now, did, was Eve spoken into existence? Let's have a look down here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so here we have this. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make and help me for him. Here we go. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the earth 
that's very interesting. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the earth. So it was out of dirt again. He formed them and brought them into Adam to see what he would call them. And whosoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So do we see God speaking into existence animals? No, we don't. Because it's that's a false teaching. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and, the, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help me for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Now, where does it does it say? And the Lord God spoke um, spoke Eve into existence, and God brought Eve to Adam. No, 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 no. Okay, so he caused him into a deep sleep, and he slept. And what did he do? He took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. They were both naked, the man and his wife, but were not ashamed. So there is the scripture, the scripture verse talking about the creation of man and how God created him out of the dirt of the, uh, dirt of the ground and he formed him and he breathed life into him. And then of course he took a rib out of the man and then he made the woman from the man, and, you know, etc. And, and they, she was bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. Andrew Womack teaches a totally different gospel and to teaches totally different teaching about Adam and Eve as well. Okay, so this is what they call typical word of faith, metaphysical, and um, goes back to Phineas Quimby and Mary Baker Eddy, where they believe that if you speak something into existence, it will happen. It's basically witchcraft, what Adam Womack teaches. Okay, so let's just continue on with this brother here. After he had created them, he turned the control, the authority to rule and to dominate this earth over to physical human beings. And now that mankind had yielded themselves to the devil, how was he going to create the second Adam, as it mentions over in 1 Corinthians chapter 15? One that didn't have sin flowing through his blood. It had to be a virgin birth. He needed the physical body, but he needed to be sinless. And so there needed to be another creation, similar to the way that Adam was created. But God no longer was in absolute control, so he couldn't just speak came into existence what he had to do okay so god lost his sovereignty god lost all his power most christians now real bible believing christians would go that's absolutely blasphemous god can do what he jolly well wants to do god is god god has always been god and he will never stop being god it's god's decision what he decides to do with his creation not 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 man god so basically what he's doing here is he's demoting God and he's glorifying man. Okay, let's continue. News flow through people and get people to speak the things that needed to be said so that... Notice how he always emphasizes speak things to existence. Speak. This, this, is, this, is, this is a cult. Let's continue. Jesus could come into this earth. Now this is major. This term son of man always refers to the humanity, the physical side of Jesus. The term son of God refers to the divinity side of Jesus. So he's saying here, the reason I have authority to execute judgment is because of this physical body. So this answers that question. Why did Jesus have to become a man? Couldn't God have done things other way? No, because... Okay, so remember what we've known before is that God spoke Jesus into existence. So therefore, Jesus, um, basically was cre it was a created being by God, right? That's a heresy. God is a spirit. God had to become a man to come down here into this domain and have power and authority. 
So in these clips now, now this is just in one broadcast. Womack has denied the nature of God by saying that God lost control of the earth, has the ability to lose control of the earth, and that, uh, and further that he requires the participation of man in order to to bring Christ into existence. He's in, in effect saying that God is not God. That God is is not does not have the ability. If God does not have the ability to be in control at all, all at all times, and He's not God. He also said that Christ was spoken into existence. So then he denies the pre-existence of Christ. He also denies the deity of Christ. Because one of the basic doctrines of the Christian faith is that Christ is God, that he has always existed, so he cannot be spoken into existence. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what people are being taught all over the world. And it's a shame. Not only that, this man has a Bible college where he's teaching people this. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Womack is the most dangerous man on Christian television. He should be avoided. His teaching should be avoided. And if your pastor teaches this, then you might want to you might need to make a make a decision about uh, staying there. God has always been in control. God was has never taken himself out of the loop. Christ has always existed. Christ was not spoken into existence. Christ did not go to hell to fight with Satan. He wasn't beaten up by Satan. He said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Watch out for Andrew Womack. Take care and God bless. Okay, so there we have Brother Kevin, this gentleman here, explaining the situation at hand. Now I'm going to bring you over here. And I'm going to show you this heretic with another heretic. Let's just play this. This is on TBN Broadcasting Network with Jesse Duplantis. Get this going. People think that the law was given to show you the steps that you need to take to get right with God. Mm. It was given actually for the opposite. It raised the bar so high, like what Jeff was talking about, mm. that, you know, some people like me that were raised in church, and I've never said a word of profanity in my 66 years. I've never taken a drink of liquor. I've never smoked Have a it? cigarette. I've never tasted First of all, I'll take a look at his look over here. You've never tasted coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to do Lord. that again. Okay. All right. Let, wait, wait. We, 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 need a, we need a YouTube moment. Okay, put the camera on both of them. Okay, the camera's on both. I would have loved to hear you in confession. No. <laughs> Now watch this. Okay, do that line again. Okay. I have never said a word of profanity. I've never taken a drink of liquor. I've never smoked a cigarette, and I've never tasted coffee. <laughs> but you got a scripture to stand on for coffee. What's that? It says you can drink any deadly thing, and it shall not. Happen. I understand. See, so you notice as well that. When it comes to Andrew Womack, look at me, I've never done this, I've never done that, I've never done the other. Now, this man <laughs> is a total heretic and he's corrupted and we are to stay well away. I've already done a video on Jesse Duplantis looking for his jet and uh, his new camera is going to cost him a million and, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So I've already shown you. So here we are now and that's, let me just check that in the year. That was done in 18th November 2015. He, he's always been on TBN quite a bit. So guys, in conclusion, I just wanted to say this. Rene is now using a false teacher to try and convince you guys that what she's saying is true. Instead of going to the precious word of the living God and obviously reading in its context, but remember guys, these people here, all these people, they don't have the Holy Spirit. They are not regenerate. They have a false doctrine. Now what Satan d does at times is he puts a bit of truth. He peppers truth with, with the absolute disgusting error. And Jesus talks about leavening the whole lump. It's like, you know, if you have a rotten um, apple in a whole bunch of apples, it'll make all of the apples rotten. 
So this is what the situation is at the moment pertaining to Ren AEM. And quite frankly, this proves to me 100% what I've been saying. And it's not to say, oh, look at me, I'm right. But it's to give glory to God to say, look, God is telling you the truth according to the precious word of God. So here is Rene Rowland's uh, channel. Here is the video here. Uh, you guys can go over, just put in Rene Rowland. You can go over and look at this video. Or what I'll do is actually put the link underneath. Now, I just want you to notice that, like I said before, the God, Satan, Satan allows a bit of truth and then he peppers it with a whole bunch of lies and deceptions. Okay, so you've got to say to yourself this, okay, Renee Rowland is claiming that she has the right gospel. Now, we know she doesn't have the right gospel because she doesn't believe in eternal hell. She believes in annihilationism. She says that hell is not essential for the gospel. She teaches that Jesus um, just came around in the New Testament. This man teaches that um, God um, created Jesus and that Jesus was a created being, which would mean that Jesus was never God. So here we have her connecting up with another heretic. So not only is she involved with Matthias, um, you know, they call him Brother Luke, but he's not a brother, uh, Luke from Sin City Preacher, um, and, and other um, heretics. She's now um, endorsing this heretic, okay? And this heretic is known for being a heretic because his lineage goes back into the Word of Faith lineage, which would be uh, Mary Baker Eddy and Phineas Quimby, who started off the metaphysical cult of speaking something out, and if you speak something out, it will come to pass. So guys, that's all I have for you at the moment. I do pray that this has opened up your eyes, and for people who want to know about Andrew, Andrew Womack, this would be a good video for you guys as well, but also, you know, that you're aware that Renee Rowland is a false teacher and she teaches a false gospel. Um, so, that because there's many, many people, unfortunately, following this particular woman, she now has 6,400 people listening to her, which breaks my heart. Uh, we keep praying for Renee, like I always do, and um, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may the Lord let his light to shine upon you. And I'll talk to you super soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.